Hello, I'm Helen Turner from Innovative Safety Solutions. On behalf of safeworkers.co.uk, I'm going to talk to you about hazards associated with display screen equipment or computer work. In 1992, regulations came into force regarding display screen equipment. These set out a certain number of requirements, including analysis of workstation, the requirement to undertake risk assessments, requirements of workstations, daily work routine of users, eyesight and eyesight tests, and training. To understand the applicability of the regulations, we need to understand who within our organisation is actually a DSE user. So who is someone who sits and works at a computer and therefore falls into these requirements. So under the legislation, a DSE user is someone who habitually uses display screen equipment as a significant part of their normal work. Basically, as a rule of thumb, it's somebody who uses a display screen equipment as a significant part of their normal work. It's really important, therefore, to ensure that our employer, employees have a good working environment and they have the correct workstation set up. If we just look at this slide, it depicts a bad and incorrect setup. There's several issues here. The back is not supported at all by this chair. You can see quite a big gap between the, the worker's back and the, the back of the chair. The keyboard is at an angle, increasing angle at the risk and therefore increasing the chance of injury. It's really important to ensure that users have sufficient rest breaks away from the computer work. So that doesn't mean, unfortunately, extra coffee breaks. What it means is breaks away from computer work, so whether that's filing or going to greet customers in reception, they must have a break away from this type of posture. This is the exact opposite. This is, depicts good posture. And as you can see, the user is directly on to the monitor, so there's no twisting of the neck or shoulders. The back is supported by the backrest. Shoulders are relaxed. The hands are in line with the forearms. And the feet are firmly on a footrest. It's also very important to achieve the correct posture that the correct seating is supplied. This is a legally compliant operator's, DSE operator's chair. The backrest must be able to move forwards and backwards to provide sufficient support for the user. The armrests should be adjustable if the chair has them. The chair must have five legs with either feet or casters. The chair must be able to move up and down and the lumbar support must be able to move up and down.